instead of like a Thanksgiving episode, we talk about things we're thankful for in a disjointed way. I'm glad it wasn't me that died. <laughs> and they're holy Jesus. <laughs>
All my stories are watching my family kind of bicker and argue in a kitchen, and then we have good dinner. Do you know what's weird? What? 20 some years ago, I would go to Thanksgivings and Christmas at my family's house. And as soon as I was done with that, I would go to Robbie's house, have my real holiday. <laughs> with Robbie's families? Mm -hmm. Did you know back then that you'd end up smooching the Robbie up? Oh, absolutely not. I, I no. Mm -mm. How old were you then when that happened? Uh, in my 20s. I didn't ditch my family. I served time at my family and then went. Yeah, well, that's what I used to do. That's what I used to do. I used to have like several, I used to have <laughs> several Thanksgiving dinners in the same day. Because my family used to always eat around five. Mm -hmm. It was super early. And then I didn't want to like stick around for another six hours while my dad would yell, you know? So I could just go, then I would just go to a friend's house and eat again. And, and, go to, and for a while with Lishy's friends, they were all from Chicago. So we would go to a hotel. I didn't even know you could do this because, uh, but uh, the hotels, they all had a, a Thanksgiving buffet for people who were traveling and not at home. And it was like 24 bucks or something, but they had the juiciest turkey. I would go to Rob's house for those holidays, but they were vegan. So I made sure to eat before I got there. Oh, you. So they would just shape a potato into a turkey and then spray paint it with. No, they had this thing called a tofurkey. Oh. It looked like a turducken of awfulness. We've been doing like a honey baked ham um, and I just do it by hand. I just slather a ham and a bunch of honey. Brown sugar, I think, honey uh, and brown sugar. Clove, yeah, it's pretty simple. Throw it in the broiler, slather it, do the thing. I'm not a big turkey guy, to be honest. I'm not either. Turkey is one of those weird things. Like, I'll have a turkey sandwich, but a plate like loaded up with bunches of turkey parts. Very, ugh dry and boring yeah, if i'm somewhere and it's like it's being made i'm not upset you know but if if i if i'm the head of the household or whatever or i have like a say in it i want a honey baked ham the best turkey i ever had was deep fried yeah they're, they're, they are good i've had deep fried turkey but so many white trash people burn their houses down yeah those that. are dangerous they're always exploding <laughs> those things are always exploding. i think it was i think it came from a restaurant though oh well done the real way that's less dangerous I'm like a little home chef these days. I cook, I would say, five days a week, basically, at least. And I quite like it. And if you were to check on me a year, a year and a half ago, I could basically put together like an omelet or like a burger in a skillet. You know what I mean? Like the very basics. Mm -hmm. But now I consider myself a little home cook. I hate those things. She put like 50 of those things in my fridge when she left. <laughs> I actually tried to eat one, and they're, like, horrible. They're so good. Snippet. They're good. It's like, disgusting baby food for babies. Mm. Like a baby. Mm. Whenever Snippens comes to visit me, she always buys a bunch of nonsense. And then she leaves <laughs> most of it in my fridge or, like, on my counter, and then she'll just leave. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, spritz, and I'll try to eat one the next day. It's always awful. Like, uh, sunflower seed shells. Like, it's just a bag of just the shells. Like it's just Are you not... sure that wasn't just sunflower seeds she already ate? And you're just rifling I through, know, the, it's through just the shells? Crap. Snip it. I mm -hmm. also know if she leaves it, it's crap. I used to think she was <laughs> leaving it because she was like, oh, Bonus can eat this poor, so he won't die. But no, she's leaving oh, it. Because so he won't die. It was disgusting. That's why she leaves it. <laughs> I need these today. I don't, you're moving too much. I don't know what the... Are they oh, like lemon oh. cakes or little pastries? Little pastry spreads. What are they stuffed with? Apples. I cooked apples and brown sugar and spices. Sounds like, good. And I put them on puff pastry. I rolled out puff pastry and I put uh, an egg wash on them and sprinkled sugar on top of them. Mm -hmm. The, on the mm -hmm. only reason I know what you're talking about is because I watched a Great British Baking Show. So I know all about, I, I know, I understand mm. everything that you just said. Otherwise, I would have no idea whatsoever. I love the, the Great British Baking Show. It's one of my favorite spritz. It's because my first baking experience. It is? In a long time. Oh, in a long time. Snip. They look good? Mm -hmm. I haven't baked anything for them. You had to change the light bulb and huh? you bake. Do they even cook anymore with light bulbs? I mean, you know, the Easy Bake industry, Big Easy Bake, had to really take a hit. There's nothing easy about that light bulb cooking. Yeah, I, I remember the first time I opened it up, I was so excited to see how it worked. And then when I saw it was a light bulb, I got really disappointed. 
the old incandescent. <laughs> I was like, this is, I was like, this is no in-home microwave experience. Am I right, Boo Boo? You love the microwave, am I right? I I, I do not love the microwave. You know, I prefer you know who, a light bulb. You know who did love the microwave tremendously is AI Boo Boo. Did, did, did you put words in my mouth with your AI travesty? Yes, yes I did. This is fantastic. It's fantastic. Motherfucker. You're going to love it. You're going to love it, precious Boo Boo. Uh, do you want to hear the Boo Boo health update of why I missed last week? Go ahead. Yes. I uh so I I wasn't sleeping for a couple like couple weeks. Like I was getting like two to three hours of sleep, if that. Um, I would just like lay in bed and not fall asleep. It was weird. I would just lay for hours, my eyes closed. Not even like the normal gamer just staying up too late, not sleeping, but just not sleeping. Monday morning last week. For like four hours, I was just sitting at my desk working, but I felt super dizzy. I had been having like some pain in my arm and stuff too, and which I think in retrospect maybe was unlinked. But at the time I was thinking, I'm dizzy, my chest feels weird, my arm feels weird, this isn't good. Uh, so I was going to go to the emergency room, but I went to Quick Care instead. Uh, and they gave me some sleeping pills and stuff like that and some like, uh, like a cream for tendinopathy on my arm. But the cream says increases risk of... of heart attack and stroke, which is concerning. Uh, anyway, uh, while I was at this doctor's visit, they d discovered I have very high blood pressure. Um, oh. So, yeah, but by Tuesday, I hadn't gotten the medication yet. So Monday night into Tuesday, I'd only slept like two, three hours. So that's why I tapped out of doing the episode. I just went to go sleep for a couple of hours. Oh, precious boob. Uh, yes. Well, I hope that you uh, recover completely and swiftly. I'm feeling I, I've been taking these little pills and they've been helping me sleep. You just oh, what do you have? What uh, are they? They are hydros uh, hydroxyzine hydroxyzine. Oh, okay. I don't know what I mean. I think it's like an. Uh, it, it, he said it was similar to like an antihistamine, oh, it's like yeah, similar to like a Benadryl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I take them like an hour before bed, and I've been sleeping like seven or eight hours. Probably the longest stretch of like eight hours sleeping I've ever had in my life. I'm normally like a five to six hour sleeper. Um, and I've just been trying to, I've been eating my bananas for my potassium. I've been eating dark chocolate to lower the blood pressure. I've been going on little, uh, like mile long walks around my complex every morning. I've been doing a little health spritz for the last week. Mm -hmm. well, it's a, it's I just assumed a video game had come out. Nope. I actually was, I was in <laughs> dire straits. <laughs> It's oh, interesting no. that you're covering everything we did in last week's episode when you weren't here. Yes. <laughs> AI Boo Boo did not represent me well. No. <laughs> that one, he just he said, "I love the microwave." No. No, <laughs> he said many worse things than that. But uh, yes, <laughs> I've also dialed back on caffeine. I'm only having one soda pop a day and my mm. one coffee. I used to have a soda with dinner, but I'm not because obviously that was not helping my sleep situation. Does caffeine uh, interrupt your sleep? My, for me, I find caffeine doesn't really do anything to me. And if you would have, if you would have asked me like a month ago, I would have said no. Like, because all my life I've been drinking caffeine and sleeping whenever I felt like sleeping. But I like just based on the last couple of weeks, it had to have had an impact. Hmm. Getting old is not for wussies. No, no but what, I just turned it, forty. But what did they ha what did they say the thing is? Did, did they know why you weren't sleeping? Or he just was like, here's some sleep. He, he just Bill Cosby'd you? That's what <laughs> he Cosby'd me, yeah. Um, no, uh, I don't know. Well, it was like a discomfort thing, a little bit of like, it wasn't like the typical I can't sleep like money anxiety, but I guess it was like part of an anxiety because what would happen is the longer I'd not sleep, the more I started like running the numbers in my head. Like now I'm only getting four hours of sleep before work. Now I'm only getting three hours of sleep before work. I start like, then I would get anxious and then not sleep even more. Um, I so I used, to, I used to do that all the time. Like if somebody, yeah. started, if something started me worrying about something, I would worry about every single thing. And then I'll be like, yeah. oh my God, it's three. Oh my God, it's 4.30. Oh yes. my God. That's what I would do, yeah. Yeah, and I've had like I've had trouble sleeping before when like money was tight and stuff like that, and like you know just been up all night worrying about it. This wasn't that; it was just like I don't know. I, I was sitting there, I felt relaxed. I just would not doze. It was so weird. About of uh, insomnia. Yes, it was. It was pretty fucking brutal though. I felt like a zombie for a couple of days there. And I'm very thankful that we had this episode. So I have tallied our votes, and feel free to run in the comments section who you think is never right in this episode. You haven't frozen in like an hour and a half, Snippins, but you're not saying a damn word. Huh? That's a maybe not, maybe. Are you looking at your fucking phone again? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I can I go to bed? <laughs> yeah. Right. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want more content from the Never Write Podcast.